why wouldn't I, a double board certified OBGYN and maternal fetal medicine specialist, or any major medical organization support placental encapsulation? Let me tell you why. Regarding safety, there are no state or federal regulations regarding placenta consumption or encapsulation. A certification in food safety handling is not required. There are some organizations who do offer certification in the placental encapsulation process, but there is no standardization or oversight of this process and the process itself can vary significantly across organizations. More importantly, the temperature at which the placenta should be heated and the duration of time of this heating is not standardized, which does not ensure that the pathogens or bacteria or anything else in this placenta are adequately, adequately killed. The hormones found in the placenta, and there are many, are the basis of the proposed benefits of consuming the placenta. However, the hormonal concentrations of the placenta are drastically reduced by the process, or whatever process it is, for placental encapsulation in addition to other forms of heating or cooking or whatever the placenta and of any concentration of hormone that might be there there's no guarantee that it survives oral ingestion and then processing through the gi tract regarding the proposed benefits there are three randomized placebo controlled trials on prevention of anemia and improved energy levels prevention of postpartum mood disorders and stimulation of milk supply or increasing milk, milk supply and none of them showed any benefit a recent review in AJOG showed no scientific evidence of any clinical benefit of placentophagy among humans and no placental nutrients and hormones are retained in sufficient amounts after placental encapsulation to be potentially helpful to the mother's postpartum course. The bottom line is that any proposed benefits are based on anecdotal reports as well as self-reported surveys. This does not allow for any accounting of placebo effects, nor does it substantiate any claims. Any company that is making claims of the benefits of placentophagy should not be doing so. They're only able to get away with it because it's not FDA regulated. But more importantly, making these claims could, could prevent someone, for example, someone who has postpartum depression, from seeking appropriate and necessary care because they think these placenta pills are going to help them. Here are some of the potential risks. Pause to read. Another problem with any of these anecdotal reports or self-reported surveys is that if there is an adverse effect or adverse event, it's unlikely to be reported. Please do not listen to social media influencers or celebrities when it comes to eating your placenta, which is a human organ. There is a reason why no major medical organization endorses this practice. Because placentophagy is potentially harmful and has no proven benefit, the practice of eating the placenta postpartum should be actively discouraged, in my expert opinion.